So let's talk about pipelines in Laravel. But before that, let's talk about uh, what is what are pipelines uh, in general. So pipelines are nothing but a pattern in which we pass in an input uh, to the pipeline, and then the pipeline will that uh, will uh, move this uh, input to a sequence of uh, uh, callbacks or you can say chain and uh, in each uh, uh, step the the input uh, will be processed and uh, it will pass that input uh, to the next step or the next callback and at the end of uh, this chain uh, we will get that uh, processed input back so this is helpful uh, uh, in uh, creating a system that uh, process uh, and input uh, sequ sequentially uh, every time so let's see uh, how we can uh, use this uh, pipeline in laravel so let's uh, check this with a pretty simple example so let's say uh, we have we want to create a slug out of a string so let's say post slug and then we can use pipeline a uh, facade in this case and first we will send in the input to it let's call it laravel is awesome okay now next thing that we want to do is we need to pass in uh, pass in this uh, uh, string to a sequence of uh, callbacks so we can use true okay and over here uh, we can define callbacks or chain of callbacks so first let's define function okay and then uh, we can pass so first uh, argument uh, in this callback that we get is the input so it will be string title let's say we call it title and the second uh, argument will be a closer and let's call it next and what we want to do with this string so let's say we want to first uh, slugify this string so let's do that title and string and then slug title okay so we slugified this uh, string now we want to pass this uh, uh, string slugified string to the next callback and for that we can return and use that uh, closer and pass in the string okay now we can create a or we can write a new callback and over here or we can make it let's say upper okay so now we have got a sequence of two callbacks in which uh, we are processing our uh, string we are first making it uh, slug and then make it uh, in the uppercase now we want to get it back at the end so we can use then okay and similarly we can use the callback over here as well so function we get the processed uh, string so title and return the title okay so that's it and we can now die and dump the slug or the processed output so post slug okay and now if we run this or okay so php artisan sir okay and now if we go to our browser so as you can see uh, it is printing the sluggified uh, and 
uh, it has also made uh, make it uh, made it uppercase okay so if we uh, get rid of this second callback and check it as you can see it has only run the first uh, callback now one more thing that uh, we can do over here is uh, instead of uh, using the callbacks we can also use invocable class so for instance uh, we want a the similar functionality but with a minimal code we can uh, refactor this uh, logic to their separate classes so let's say we want a class a new class called class luggy and this will be a, a invocable class so public function invoke and uh, the arguments will be the same as what we have over here so we can just use it and uh, we can use the same uh, logic over here as well okay now we can replace this entire callback with that uh, slugify class like this and uh, if we run our code once again it uh, remains the same but the only difference is we are now using the invocable class over here similarly we can refactor this to a upper class or you can uppercase class so class upper is and uh, uh, we can just uh, refactor this to over here as an in invocable class so uh, invoke and uh, this will be a public function and now we can use uppercase and class now if we run this sure it's uh, still the same so these are the pipeline uh, you can say pipeline helper that uh, that lets you use the pipeline uh, pattern in laravel and as you can see we can use callbacks as well as invocable classes in this and that's about it i hope you like this video and if you do uh, consider subscribing to the channel and i will see you in the next one